Living in another country is a challenge by itself. New culture, probably a new language, and lots of money spent. But for us as students, there is another factor, the uni we choose. Is it better or is it worse than their own uni? Do you have to study more or can you study less? Do you have less be breaks between classes or do you have more? Do you even understand the subjects or is it because the language barrier that you don't understand it? Today we will find out about some ideas of some international students have about INSA, about how they feel, about how they like. In order to answer, is it INSA a good uni just for friends or is it really a good uni internationally? INSA says that they are an international university, showing their rankings on an international level or showing how much a percentage of their students are from different countries. So the first thing we need to know is from the students themselves. Where are they from? What did they study? I study at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland. I eh, study at the University of Jaume I de Castellón, in Spain. I come from Colombia and I study at the University of Nacional. I come from the University of Nacional de Colombia. I study in Strathclyde in Glasgow. Soy colombiano y vengo de la Universidad de Los Andes en Bogotá. First question we ask ourselves is why studying in Minsa? Why here? Me pareció una buena oportunidad para aprender a hablar el francés. Porque es una universidad especializada en ingeniería y con cierta fama en Francia. The main reason I chose it actually is because I wanted to learn French. I wanted to came to to France in order to improve my French and also to live in a French city. The Erasmus student last year went to Glasgow and she spoke very nicely. I chose it because I consider that it's a university that is not very recognized in France and in the world. I wanted to study somewhere where I can talk French, where I can get better in my French. Um, and I didn't want to be that far away from home. Also, uh, I like to go skiing and we are very close to the Alpes. As you can notice, a lot of them said that came to France just for learning French, but also they came to INSA because it has a really good reputation internationally. So, now we have to ask ourselves, does INSA really help us to adapt to a different language, to a different culture, to a different country, to a different lifestyle? Uh, my answer is no. For me, it's a little bit hard. There was not that much information. There are many changes. The family, the culture, the friends, the climate. I have had to go my own way and uh, meet my friends by myself. Yes, I feel that the school has helped a lot with the integration, the life here and in general in France. And so, it did help me to adapt here, mainly through the three-week summer school, which really uh, got me integrated into the university and also uh, allowed me to make new friends that I'm still friends with at the moment. So that was good. Realmente no no creo que el INSA me haya ayudado a adaptarme al ambiente porque al ser estudiante de doble diploma no les importa que que sea extranjera. Siempre nos dicen que los estudiantes de doble diploma somos como estudiantes franceses cuando o sea la verdad no es así porque no conocemos el idioma y al principio cuesta bastante y la verdad es que pasan bastante de nosotros. Once I started the actual course, and so hasn't really been amazing at helping me. Why they choose INSA is probably because they want to learn French or because their good reputation that INSA has. And does INSA help us to feel comfortable in France, yes and no. Yes, thanks to the summer school, and no, because the lack of information organization that INSA has. So now, the next question, and mostly the most important for us, must be, are the classes really that different or that difficult here in INSA, or not? Yeah, of course. INSA definitely is m much harder and a lot more intensive. La organización del INSA es una mierda. O sea, me da la sensación de que las clases están mal organizadas, que nos meten muchas horas. At my home university, I usually have about maybe three hours of classes a day, on average, and they're each one hour classes. See, we have um, more, yeah, more breaks between the different courses. 
for instance, in, in my home university, the the, cl the classes are shorter, like one hour and a half, one hour twenty minutes, and here it could be five hours the whole day, four hours. Y que luego no tenemos tiempo de de hacer nada. And starting at eight a.m. and finishing at six p.m. with only two hours in between is really hard going. Ocho horas al día, toda la semana, o sea, consume tu energía. Las clases en mi universidad suelen ser mucho más personalizadas con menos estudiantes. Suele haber una mayor interacción entre el profesor y el alumno. Eh, lo que son las clases, sin embargo, no, no hay un enfoque tan científico, sino que es más técnico el enfoque que se le da. Además, contamos con un servicio de tutorías que nos dispone de un lugar con un estudiante que ya ha visto la materia y que nos permite ir a estudiar con él para que él nos resuelva nuestras dudas de una forma más rápida. What is good about Insa is that they do have more labs, more practical work uh, than my home university, which is quite good. Here everything is more applied, so we have lots of exercises, lots of projects. So uh, I feel that the classes here are a lot more theoretical. You have to learn by yourself because teachers don't or you like nothing else that you can learn from the slides. But when it comes to actually learning by ourselves or learning in the course, it's extremely difficult. My home university teachers motivate you like to learn in class with your classmates, but not from the book. A lot less comprehension. It's a lot more memory. So in the end, we conclude that there are too many hours at the classrooms, not enough breaks. At the end, you have to learn all by yourself. But still, there are more labs and practical projects and practical works than in your home universities, usually. But to be fair, we have to ask also the other side of the story. We have to ask the teachers what they think about the, the international students. We asked these questions to a lot of teachers, but the only teacher kind enough to answer them was Gal Dukan, a teacher researcher and the responsible of the international relationships in the department of GED. So we start asking her, what was her opinion about the international students in her class? There are some students that aren't that serious, but others that really work in order to succeed. They usually don't have that many good grades, but it's understandable if they have trouble with the different language. Do you think that it's easier to teach science and engineering uh, around the world than other specialities? Yes, sort of. In science, we have usually the same base of subjects around all the world, but the methodology is totally different, even between the universities of the same country. I think the methodologies of teaching change between one country or another. In France, we focus more into precision lessons, and the rest of the world usually have less lessons like that, and more like learning yourself. Here we go the polycopies, and all the other countries the students have to go to libraries or buy the bugs. It depends on the institution, really, and it's more theoretical or not. In inside, we put our focus into practical words, more than other universities. Are your expectations of the international students? Expectations for them are that they should be serious, punctual, respectful, and they should bring motivation to the class. In fact, I expect the same about the French students. Are you satisfied by the behavior of the international students in GEN? To be fair, it depends on the student. There is a lot of them that they lack of seriousness. They are late, they speak too loud, they just look at their cell phones, or they didn't even go at all. As well, there are some students that really put effort into suppressing the language barrier and they have shown discipline to learn at a starting level. Some of us suffer a stronger culture shock than others. For some of us, the classes are easier than in a whole town. Well, it could be harder. But one truth remains. We are all students we all have the ability to learn. So, if you want to be an international student in the next year or next semester or in the future, prepare yourself because maybe language is not the hardest thing you'll have to learn.